Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do exponents or powers on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. To do this we'll use the x squared key that looks like this located here. The up arrow or caret key that looks like this located here. The negative key that looks like this located here. And the fraction key that looks like this located here. If we just want to square a number, like for example, 5 squared, all we do is place the 5 on our screen and then press the x squared key here. We now see the 2 in the exponent position here, and if we hit exe, we see we get 5 squared is equal to 25. But what if we want to find an exponent that isn't a 2 or a square? To do that, we use the up arrow or caret key. So for example, if we want to find 5 to the power of 4, Again, we put the 5 on our screen, and then hit the up arrow or caret key, and there we get a box for our exponent, and then we put in 4, and hit exe, and we see we get 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 625. What if we have a negative exponent, like for example, 5 to the power of negative 2? Well, again, we start by putting the 5 on our screen, and then hit the up arrow or caret key, and then we need to tell our calculator we're doing a negative exponent, so for that we use the negative sign here. Not the subtraction key, this negative sign down here, so that we see the negative sign, and then the 2, and hit exe. And we see we get 5 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 0 0.04, which is correct. We can also find exponents that are fractions, like for example, 4 to the power of 1 over 2. To do this, we place the 4 on our screen, hit the up arrow key or caret key so that we get our box, and then we press the fraction key here. That gives us a fraction with two open boxes, so we'll put 1 in the top. Scroll down, 2 in the bottom, so we have 1 over 2, and then we hit exe, and we see we get 4 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, Good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.